guys welcome back to the channel the 9th of october we're taking a look at turbo cryptocurrency here this wednesday morning pretty early on the east coast turbo starting to move overnight we're starting to get a breakout here taking place we are reversing a little bit here we'll talk about that in just a moment we'll talk about some uh pretty close upper targets that are actually really not too far away we have Bitcoin basically flat on the day, pulling back a little bit. We have Aerodrome, Velodrome, Velodrome. They're up a little over 2%. We have Turbo up 2.42%. Welcome to the channel, guys. Appreciate all the support and welcome all the new subscribers, guys. All right, so quick recap here on Turbo Cryptocurrency as we start to move higher here. So we talked about in yesterday's video, keep your eye on the breakout zone. The breakout zone is the point zero zero seven one seven five zero. That's this blue dotted line running horizontally on your screen. This is a level of market resistance. So we, and it's a, a very important level that we want to see hold. We want to see breakout and hold to the upside. The market ended up topping out a little bit higher than this level in the past, but it ended up coming into to a resistance level here on the 31st and 1st of uh, May and June. We attempted a breakout here on the 21st of July, 22nd of July, it really came back into resistance. We topped out over here on the 28th and 27th of September, just a few weeks ago. And once again, as of today, the 8th, the 9th of October, we are attempting a breakout here above this zone. The question is, will it happen? Will it hold or will it fail? And the market will push it right back down. You can see right here, things look great. And then boom, push back down, consolidate, retest. And here we are again. So that's the question. Unfortunately, Bitcoin does not look too good right now, and that is not going to help Turbo, uh, this meme coin Turbo slash USDT, really start to move to the upside. It's unfortunate. Those two are definitely not in line with each other, but it doesn't mean it won't happen. It could still happen. You know, we could see start Turbo start to run, and then maybe Bitcoin start to get its act, its act together in, a, you know, a week or two. Who knows? But... We'll cover Bitcoin at the end of the video. So what we're looking for again, like I said, is we want to see a breakout here above the 71750. We want to see a close above the 71750. And then that's going to give us a, we want to look for over here. We want to see a break above these highs. And then we have a number one target, 0 0.008650 right here, guys, 0 0.008650. That is what I would be looking for. You know, I mean, it could happen today, but if we get a close above the 717, I want to see a continuation up to 8650. It's really not that far. So basically from our zone up to that 865, about a 20%, a little less than a 20% move to the upside. So of course, not a problem for something like this, but we still, we want to see it happen. After that, so let's say we got up to the 8650. I want to see a, um, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market find resistance there. It doesn't have to, but if it did, I wouldn't be surprised. Quickly after that, you want to see the highs be taken out over here. So those are roughly like the 998 nine, level. And then that's going to take you up to our next set of targets which are like 102, 103, uh, 10391, 1022, 103150. This whole cluster right up in here. And that's going to be above the, the all time highs here for Turbo. And that is going to be a, let's see here. So our highs are going to be about a 37%. And then you're at about a 40, 45% to those targets. So you also, you can talk about a potential cup with handle here. Building the right side of the cup, your entry zone would be 
of course, right at the resistance level. Oddly enough, 71750. So a couple tan will target. You basically take the depth of the cup, which would be like the low and the high, whatever this is, this spread. Then you would add that spread to your, your entry zone. So I didn't run those calculations before the video, but if you're interested in that chart pattern and what the profit target would be or the expected move would be, that would be one way to calculate that. All right, let me clean this up here, and then we'll talk about a couple other things here. So, obviously, that target would take us above the cup with handle. The depth of the cup would take us above the 8650. Um, it would probably take us up into here, and of course, you know, very possible as well. But for starters, we got to close above 717, and we got to get up to 8650, and it can all happen pretty quick. So up, up into here, you know, it's about an 80-90% move. That's probably what the, the depth of this would be. It's going to take you up into there. As far, as far as my upper price targets, my highest price targets for Turbo, I think on the screen right now, the highest I have is 133106, so 0.0133106. I haven't ran those in a while. I'll have to check those, but I think that's still valid. And that's up in here. And again, that's like an 80, 90% move to the upside. Very possible. That's that, guys. I mean, this thing looks quite bullish. Unfortunately, the rest of the markets don't look too hot right now. But I wouldn't ignore it. So I wouldn't say that's not going to run because Bitcoin is not looking too bullish right now. This thing could have a mind of its own. And a lot of these meme coins do. And it could easily just go on a run here. It's off to a good start this morning. 71750 breakout zone. Next target, 8650. It's about a 20% move to the upside. Then we're looking at surpassing the all time highs. And then we're right up here to like the 102, 237, 101, 39, 101, 31, Right here, guys. That's that for Turbo Cryptocurrency. The meme coin turbo load the toad as they say over to bitcoin up 48 bucks it's flat it's struggling it's struggling it's a uh, major resistance came in here at these three levels we're trying to hold 62 206 and three quarters we don't know if it's going to hold or not if it decides not to it's down to 60,205 and then 58 910 if that doesn't hold hopefully breaks to the upside, but it don't look too good right now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Of course, not financial advice. If you are not yet subscribed, join us here on the channel. Keep your eyes on that turbo breakout. Let's look at Aerodrome real quick. Aerodrome again, we got resistance right under the 128 level. And look at this, all this resistance. One, two, three, four, five days just in the past, you know, week or two. I'll catch you guys in the next one.